Okay, for today's Sunday case study, we have a 65-year-old man who has a history of high blood pressure who three, three weeks ago decided that he no longer wanted to take his medication and he didn't get it refilled. His family stated that they were just watching TV and then all of a sudden he stood up, said he had a bad headache, and then he just fell on the floor and started profusely vomiting. 911 was immediately called and upon arrival at the scene, his blood pressure was 225 over 95. His airway was secured in the field due to his level of responsiveness and he was brought into the emergency department. So the patient upon examination had pinpoint pupils, was intubated in the field, and had decerebrate posturing. So what is the Glasgow Coma Score? Here is the patient's CAT scan. So the questions were, what's the Glasgow Coma Score? What's the diagnosis on the CT scan? What's the treatment? And what led to this injury? I'll go through the step-by-step -step diagnosis and answer all the questions tomorrow. So let's go through the answers of this case study I presented yesterday of the 65-year-old man who showed up in the emergency department by EMS, unresponsive at home. So remember we said that he has a history of high blood pressure, but decided a few weeks ago that he was no longer going to take his blood pressure medication. In medicine, we call hypertension the silent killer, and it's because most patients have no symptoms from hypertension. Basically, your blood pressure can remain elevated and you have absolutely no idea because you may not feel bad. Here's this patient's CAT scan, and so what happened here is he has this finding, which is a pontine hemorrhage, or a bleed in the middle of the brainstem. Pontine hemorrhages are actually a really common presentation of uncontrolled high blood pressure, and it's a type of hemorrhagic stroke. The first question I had was, what was a GCS? And most of you guys got it as a 4T. Uh, does not open eyes, which gives you one point. Uh, is intubated, which gives you one point, but we label that as a T. And then the patient is decerebrate prostering, which gives you two points. Pinpoint pupils is a sign of a brainstem injury, as well as decerebrate posturing, which is pictured here. Uh, if a patient does this type of positioning when stimulated, it is usually a poor sign. So the diagnosis is a pontine hemorrhage secondary to poorly controlled chronic high blood pressure. Now the treatment. Unfortunately for a pontine hemorrhage this size, there is no treatment here. So I cannot go in there and operatively take that out and make this patient better. I cannot do burr holes. I cannot do a craniectomy. Nothing will save this patient's life. So a pontine bleed this size is unfortunately an expectant type of stroke, which basically means more palliative measures or in having a long discussion with the family that this is not a survivable hemorrhage. These are certainly very hard discussions that we have to have in our field. I mentioned that pontine hemorrhages are a very common presentation of poorly controlled hypertension, and this was likely precipitated by the patient abruptly stopping their medications to control their blood pressure. So if you do have high blood pressure, please make sure you're keeping in check with that and taking medications and following up with your doctor.